What is up guys, it's your boy Alpha. Have you ever played so much Minecraft that every other game you play looks just like Minecraft? Well, you don't wanna do that to your viewers too, all right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to go from this over to this. This is what our viewers deserve to see from us. This is quality, this is excellence. And this is what I'm about to teach in the next three to five minutes in this YouTube video. Sit back, strap up, and get ready for an enjoyable ride. What is up, guys? If you're on this video, it's probably because you're a content creator and you're trying to make your game look nice and crisp for your viewers. But Twitch doesn't allow us enough bitrate, so we've got to do other things to make up for it. Anyway, uh, this is what this video is about, or that is what this, is, this video is about. And I'm going to go over everything quickly. And then after that, for the second part, for people that want to know more about why uh, and how I came to these conclusions, uh, we're going to jump into that part. So the first thing we're going to start off with, I'm in game right now. I'm on woods and I'm going to show you guys the difference with just the settings in Tarkov alone. Um, so we're still going to do the before and after, uh, but the biggest changes are going to be in the Tarkov settings. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, guys, so we're going to start this with our first take, and this is on woods, obviously. And right now, this is my old settings. Now, keep in mind, my settings in the NVIDIA control panel and OBS are already changed. So this is the before, but after I've already worked on this a little bit. So it was worse prior to this, um, and mine was already like, quote unquote, good to begin with. So um, this is what it looks like on just standard settings that a lot of people are running. Um, I'm going to adjust the settings after this to make it less jagged. You can see how jagged the grass is. Um, and I'll explain why a lot of this stuff is like this in the second part of the video. This part is just going to be, you know, showing the stuff and showing the results. And then we'll move on to the second half. So if you just want to see what to do, that's what this part is about. The first five, you know, plus minutes, five to maybe 10 minutes is going to be that. Um, the second half, I'm going to go a little more in depth on what the settings are, what they mean, etc. All right. So let's make this lap. Um, I'm going to run the same thing, change my settings and, uh, do the same lap right after that again, under the same situation, no cut, no edit, you know, just a raw file for you guys to see. All right. So let's do it. So you can see how pixelated the grass is, right? And how pixelated it's making everything else look, including if I had my camera, um also on here it would look pixelated so it's not super great and this is what a lot of us are, have been dealing with so we're gonna go into here um change this just a little bit change this to high change this to low change this to on turn the sharpness off and grass shadows on now i know that's a lot of changes and it's gonna look a lot different but it's gonna look a lot better and it's gonna look more accurate to irl so now we've got grass with some depth and it doesn't look like just a bunch of crazy jagged, you know, pieces coming up out of the ground. It looks like there's like some depth to it and, and like some thick foliage uh, that isn't just a bunch of blades sticking up, destroying our bitrate quality. So uh, we're going to make the same run and same path and everything and see the results. Keep in mind, I am recording right now in 1080. I usually am 936 because it's less uh it's less pixels to be worked on so my results on 936 are even better than what they are right now on 1080 um but the baseline of it is still the same all right so that's the difference um now we're going to get into the nvidia control panel All right, guys, so we are on my gaming PC's desktop. We are going to go to the NVIDIA control panel. You just right click and open this baby up. And the first thing we're gonna start off with is manage 3D settings. And then I'm gonna show you how to adjust the vibrancy, which I just did in as an example uh, in that last clip. 
So these are the 3D settings that are generalized for your PC overall. I'm going to scroll through here just so you can see. And you can make adjustments as you see fitting. Um, but these are mine. Now, again, I went through this with Foves and he optimized my gaming PC with me. Um, I am going to shout him out right now, actually, because he taught me that you can actually make this program specific, which is exactly what I've done. And this thing right here is extremely important. So this by default for me was set at 0.5 and 0.5. Now we don't want film grain. That is hard for OBS to encode. And we don't want sharpness because that's hard for OBS to encode. And the settings we just adjusted in the game make up for the sharpness. Those settings make the game look how it's supposed to look. They're on higher settings. Um, and the FPS drop, I mean, I lost maybe three to five FPS and I don't have a crazy GPU. So I have a 2080. Um, you want to set this to on with sharpen zero and ignore film grain set to one. Uh, again, I'm going to scroll through here. The main thing you want to take from this is application controlled. So escape from Tarkov, my application can control anti-aliasing, anisotropic filtering, and the other settings that we would like to adjust within the game need to be able to be adjusted without being overridden by all of this. All right. So those are the settings and we're going to sweep over here to adjust desktop color settings. And this is where you adjust vibrancy. So I'm on a dual stream PC setup. Um, and this is what you guys see is this Elgato. This is what I see. This is what you see. So I lowered it about 30 or I was at hundred percent on my streaming PC. I lowered it to 70%. So again, this is my Elgato capture card in my stream PC. And for all you dual stream PC gamers, um, this is how you're going to want to do this. And I'm going to add also in the uh, description how to set up something to get rid of screen tearing. Screen tearing is very bad, very gross, um, probably more gross than pixelation. And I will, I made a video on this already and that'll be in the description below. Anyway, digital vibrance, you adjust here. Those are the only things we're going to mess around with in this. Now we're going to move over to the OBS settings and you're going to see my beautiful face again. All right. Okay, guys, we are now in the OBS settings here. Um, I use stream elements. Doesn't matter what you use. They're all pretty much the same. Um, so we're going to go to the output tab and I'm going to do a very quick TLDR on this. All right. If you're an affiliate, my recommendation is 6K bit rate. If you're a partner, it's 8K. Um, my recommendation for resolution for an affiliate is 720p. It's what I ran. Uh, it works and you can see it clearly on a standard sized Twitch browser with the chat open. It's like 1271 by like 719 or 715 or something like that. Um, and it looks great on phone still. For partners, I recommend 936p. Um, 1080p, in my opinion, is too high for Twitch. The bit rate, it just doesn't allow for what we need on Twitch. Um, so we got to work with what we got. And that's my recommendation. If you want to see way more in-depth video regarding this, I made a video regarding 720p, 936p, and 1080p. Um, I'll put that in the description as well as a video that goes over all the OBS settings and what they do um, very quickly. I'll also put that in the description. But these are my settings. Um, something to keep in mind, the more pixels that you have to encode, the less time your encoder can spend on each pixel. So if you've got 1080p, you've got more pixels that need to be worked on, but you still have the same amount of time that your um, encoder can spend overall on all the pixels. So the lower your resolution, the less pixels, and the more time it can spend on each pixel. Um, there are good resources out there, like ratios of these. Uh, in my experience, Running 936p with 8K and running 6K with 720p has been excellent. I'm currently in 1080 just for the sake of this YouTube video. <clears throat> in 936p, that clip that you just watched, it would be it would be less pixelated on the before and the after because I'm running the same um, bit rate at 8K, but I'm running 1080p rather than 936. So I'm spending more time encoding 1080p, obviously. Anyway, that is the quick rundown of the settings. Um, now we're going to go back into the Tarkov settings and ex I'm going to explain what each part does and why lowering the sharpness and raising those other settings is superior in pretty much every way. All right, so let's get into that part. 
All right, guys, we are back on my game PC in this Tarkov settings again, and we're going to start off with the FOV. So with the wider FOV, you have more stuff on your screen, which means uh, uh, an FPS drop as well as more stuff for OBS to encode. So I like running 69. It's a good number. No reason why. Uh, I've run it lower. I just tend to like 69 the most, it seems like. Um, if I'm running like factory or something, sometimes I will change it to 75. Um, just because that wider field of view is nice and there's not really any degradation in smaller CQB maps like that. Uh, but for pretty much anything else, I'm usually at 69. Um, you can go lower. It's going to make things look better. It's going to increase your FPS. But I, found, I, I feel like this is the sweet spot to me at least. Now, graphics. You saw we changed the anti-aliasing. We changed the HBAO. We changed the anisotropic filtering. And we changed the sharpness. And I actually like this on Ultra as well. Uh, which I didn't know until I started really messing with this stuff. Um, these settings right here are very cinematic and they're nowhere near as sharp as they were previously. Uh, but they're still very clear without being blurry and blown out, which is a big deal to me because I don't like that. Um, so I like running high and ultra. You can lower these. Um, obviously, if you lower them, the texture quality is going to be different. It's going to let your FPS be a little bit higher. Uh, but from what I've seen, the grass and everything still has a, quite an effect on encoding. So I prefer high. I don't really mind the FPS, you know, small amount of FPS loss in these adjustments. Uh, when I compare it to, you know, having good clips and, you know, good content for YouTube and good content for my viewers to watch live. So these four items right here, um, they don't really matter a whole lot for what we're doing right now. The meat and bones are right here. So anti-aliasing. This setting right here changes how, changes how jagged something is within the game. So when you're rendering the grass, uh, it tends to be jagged. So when you add TAA and sharpness, it's like double jagged. And you can see that anytime you look at grass, it, they're really small. It's almost like a very, very minimized Minecraft effect that the anti-aliasing has. And if you go to FXAA or off, it turns into straight Minecraft. So I've always ran TAA. Running TAA high, it does have a little bit more um, performance necessary in your PC to run it. Um, but I haven't lost, I've maybe lost five frames, if that, changing all these settings. Um, and at the end of the day, sharpness appears to be a filter over everything else. And these seem to be the root um sort of graphical settings of the game and again i'm not a guru i'm only basing this off of what i've seen objectively and from tests i've done uh, you know making recordings or just playing the game in general uh resampling i messed around with this a lot these also give the minecraft effect off also um two times i didn't really see much of a difference and i had quite a performance hit so i kept this at one times um hbao now what this does this gives depth depth if i can say that word properly depth it gives depth um to the grass and so when you're running along um, a lot of the blades look very individual well when you add hbao it's adding depth to these um, patches of grass or you know whatever you're looking at and it looks nicer and at the same time it's making it less of all of these individual blades of grass are needing to be encoded into patches of grass being encoded so it's it's a lot less taxing when you're streaming um and i also think that it looks better the ssr basically is just another cinematic thing that i really like that doesn't seem to affect my performance much and i i think it looks really nice i actually haven't ran this until i have gone through these settings and really figured out what each of them is all right so the anisotropic filtering right here um, this one, it basically enhances the image quality of textures. So when you see a texture and you have sharpness off, you don't want it to be blurry. You want this to be on because that blurriness is what I don't like to see. I don't want to see a blurry mess. I don't want to see pixelation. I also don't want to see a blurry mess. I want to see a nice balance of right in between that. And this is what these settings have achieved is that nice balance without adding the sharpness layer and um without making it to where it's like a gross looking video game you know what i mean um i do want to say there are a couple honorable mention 
routes to take here. Um, I haven't done this before, but I believe you can set up a stream deck hotkey. Um, and basically what a stream deck hotkey would do is you set up an OBS filter and set up like a 1% blur, right? And so whenever you take a PK, um, you can just hit this button and apply this blur effect. If you forget, your, your stuff's going to be blurry and it's just kind of a pain in the butt. It'd be really nice if the PK effects didn't have such a sharpness addition to the game. Um, but it is what it is. It's an issue that everyone's still going to have. Um, you can wear a face shield. That's another solution to this. If you don't want to make any adjustments to any of your changes uh, that I've mentioned in this video, you can wear face shields. Uh, you can run um, a 1% a blur on the filters. You can actually apply an FX plugin uh, that someone mentioned to me in on Twitter. And there are other ways of doing this. But if you want one that doesn't involve plugins and makes the game look good, and in my opinion, how the game is actually supposed to look rather than having like the sharpness um, effects applied to it, this is the way. Uh, Cliff Notes. Make sure that your... NVIDIA control panel settings allow these adjustments in Tarkov and keep in mind what I had mentioned about OBS. Those three things are really important. Um, and at the end of the day, sharpness is the reason why this game is so difficult for us to encode. Uh, reducing that sharpness or getting rid of the sharpness and applying these other uh, settings in the game that I, I feel are probably meant to be on. And sharpness is probably something that's there to be uh, sort of a band-aid. All right, guys, I don't want to keep blabbing on and on and on. Uh, but anyway, I hope this video helped you out. Um, I hope that your viewers appreciate you putting your time into um, figuring this stuff out and making the changes and doing your own testing. Everyone's rig is different. Everyone's got different GPUs, CPUs, RAM, etc. And um, at the end of the day, we're all out here trying to do the same thing, and that's provide good quality audio, video, and content to our viewers. So I really hope this video helps you out and you have a great day, all right? Hit that like button or whatever the hell you're supposed to do for my video to pop off and just have a great day. All right, get the fuck out of here. Peace.